here's one of my animations from several years ago called uh, Keep of the Deep. And there's one scene that I wanted to freeze right there and make that into some cool image. So that's the scene, or that's the image that I'm gonna use today, and we're gonna burn it on something cool. So today here at Laser Fractals, I'm looking at this, this aluminum brown white flashing. So this is aluminum, brown on the inside, white on the outside. I'm not even sure which laser I'm going to use it on. I think either one will probably work, which is great. Um, I'm just going to blast that layer of paint off, so either laser will do that, I believe. Um, now this is 10 by 10, and 8 by 8 is the size of my uh, fiber laser, although um, Charlie Oxford there can do uh, the CO2, Charlie Oxford the second, um, CO2 can do uh, 12 by 20. Um, the fiber laser can only do 8 by 8 unless I get a bigger lens, but then the power is pretty weak. Um, yeah, this was, uh, I went to Lowe's today, and while I was there, I checked uh, got some of this and I got some other stuff too to try but uh I think I can just snip off pieces of this put it in the laser and actually do both sides do maybe the front side in positive leave the white and go down to the silver so that should be white and silver and then the back of course black and silver or else brown so I won't, my darkest, I'll have brown instead of black. I don't know. We'll give it a try. I'll snip off a piece and we'll give it a try. Okay, I took this aluminum brown and white flashing 10 inches by 10 feet. And I cut it in at 10, 10 inches to make 10 inches by 10 inches. And put it in the laser. Let's burn it. lasering uh, flashing here is a success. Um, I chose the brown stuff instead of the black stuff first, uh, so it's not going to be that dark, but it's certainly silvery. Um, I was able to get a good focus on it after a rough start there at the first. In fact, I can go over that again and probably shave most of that off. Um, and I can still mess up there at the end, I guess. But, uh, again, proof of principle, hey, kick ass. And it came out pretty darn sweet. Pretty darn sweet. Now that's brown rather than black. You know what, I can get that stuff at the beginning. Now that I think about it. Brown and white flashing. Look at that, that's my cheap of the deep. And uh, brown and uh, brown and blue flashing. 363 dpi. This is my test. But I ran to see how the mess there at the bottom just to get a focus 
Well, there's the white side done. I just I couldn't get to the paint, so I just burnt the paint, and it's not in inverse. I just burnt it. The white's the white, and everything black is burnt. And it's got some dust on it I discovered with my finger, so I'm about to blow it off, but we'll see what happens. It needs to be rinsed off, so we'll rinse it off and take a look. Well, in conclusion here at Laser Fractals with the CO2 laser, we had one really good success with the brown painted aluminum and one fairly bad success with the white painted aluminum, um, at least with the CO2 laser. So um, what did we learn today? We learned that um, the brown painted side um, needs to be done at a very high focus and that we can basically just eat the paint right off of it to reveal the uh, shiny aluminum side. So we have uh, a brown and aluminum um, side um, that looks great, absolutely looks great. I wish that the brown was darker. Um, we're gonna try the um, black tomorrow and then um, in our next uh, part two for you here on the internet. But uh, the white did not come out at all good. I tried to burn the paint and it ended up just just that, burning the paint as much as I could. I couldn't cut through it. I could only darken it a little bit. Um, and, uh, you know, the white paint reflected the CO2 off of it. Probably with a fiber laser, I could just eat right through that or zap the paint to a different color. Either way, um, lovely experiments here at um, Laser Fractals. Definitely going to do that brown painted um, side again on the CO2 laser. That uh, is worth doing. And then we'll try the black and see how that goes. This is uh, Steven Sink. Thank you for joining me here at uh, Laser Fractals and Laser All the Things.